What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dwell, aquí en la casa, coming at you sideways. Hopefully everybody's having a good one. It's a nice day, nice weather. Just doing a little, a little vid right now. I got some moments to spare. It's been a minute that I do my solo things. I got some podcasts coming in. I got some surprises coming in. But, uh, you know... I just want to talk a little bit about a, a little situation that I see going on online a lot. Because I follow, I follow um, a couple heads in the, in the, in the, I guess you call it the Chicano world, the Mexican community, the, the West Coast Mexican community, like rappers, comedians, podcasters, because I try to support, you know, whether they're Latino or Mexicano. I try to support if it's good and if I like it. But no matter what, I try not to hate. But I see a lot of debate between a lot of uh, influencers, uh, Raza influencers. Um, this is pretty much the topic, La Raza, Chicano, Mexicano, Latino. You know, I follow, I follow American Cholo. I follow, I follow uh, Marvelous, you know, and I listen to their conversations. And I like their podcast, you know, I like American Cholo a lot, I like what he does, but for example, now it looks like they're going back and forth, I'm not going to call it beef, but they're arguing about what a Chicano is, who a Chicano isn't, what a Mexicano is, and what's La Raza, and what's all this stuff, man, you know, um, Cali Max, which which I don't hate on none of that that, that, that American Cholo's doing, but I... You know, and I see all the comments people drop, stuff like that. Like, a lot of it is hate. A lot of people support it. A lot of people don't. And that's good, you know, more power to you. But at the same time, what, what, what I'm trying to get at, it, it seems like they're fighting too much about it, man. I see people post up, um, like, like what a Chicano is, the definition, what a Latino is, like... Like, and, 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 and I see, um, what's his name? The guy from American Cholo, he pushes it a lot, you know? He pushes it a lot, where now he's name-calling an, another individual, and they're going back and forth, you know? I doubt they're going to kill each other, but it's, it's more like a, more like a, I guess, arguing, you know? But, uh, so pretty much the guy from American Cholo, he, he's doing this thing called Calimax, Central American... Latino, indigenous, Mexican, American, Chicano. I guess he's trying to like say that's what we all brown people should call themselves. From my understanding, you know, he's trying to push it. Whether you're Hondureño, Salvadoreño, Guatemalteco, Puerto Ricano, pretty much we all fall in that category. But but and I guess now they're fighting that that that, that we shouldn't call ourselves Latino. That, that he's trying to push that agenda, which we're all Latino, that we're already placed in that agenda. The way I see it, because he, he's, he's from Honduras, but he was raised here. He came here as an immigrant and um, when he was young, and he was raised here in Southern California, which for the long, it's probably the highest majority Latino or, or brown type of group that's here is Mexicans, you know? So he probably grew up with a lot of Mexicans growing up. The thing is, they, they, they talk about La Raza. Like, 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 like la, la Raza. Like, originally, I think from my understanding, La Raza is every race. You can call your own race La Raza. You know what I mean? You can call, if you're Salvadoreño, you can use the word La Raza, but, but you're talking about your people, los Salvadoreños. When you're talking, you, you, if it's a Spanish word, everybody has that Spanish word in their in their dictionary, la raza, which means race. But from my understanding, like a Puerto Rican can say that, even a, a white boy or a black guy can say that, la raza. They're saying it in Spanish, but they're talking about their race, their raza, their people. That's what it means, my people. But the, 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 the way la raza is used in SoCal, especially... It, or in the southwestern United States, because southwestern was heavily influenced by Mexican raza, the Mexican people, for many years prior to any other 
Latino group coming to the United States. Mexico has been here for, for centuries, you know. Mexican people have been here for centuries prior to, to, to large groups of different Latino ethnicities coming through and, and you know, moving in. The Mexican people, the word La Raza, especially in SoCal, it means the Mexican people. You know, that's the way it was used. La Raza, Mexican people. So I don't know why Gil's trying to change that. La Raza means the race or everybody. He's including everybody, which is cool. We can use it. But in reality, it was used and it started to be used by Mexican people. Because for a long time, there's probably more Mexicans than there were anything. And um, when they spoke La Raza, Viva La Raza, there was Mexicans or Chicanos supporting the Raza, their Raza. You know, it's um, so uh, he, he, from my understand, that's an argument, La Raza. Yeah, you could use that word, but in reality, in, in, in California, La Raza is, it's Mexican. It's like trying to change, like, I'm not trying to get offensive here, but but people fighting that Santa Claus is black. You know, originally, whoever invented him, the white man invented him, painted him white. How can we, you know, we come in here and start changing that? Or we can't, you know what I mean? We can say what he was, but originally he's white. A white man invented him. It's a white man's holiday, Santa Claus, a white man's character. Um, and he invented him. It's like now they're saying Little Mermaid is black. Cool. I don't hate on that. It is what it is. But you're changing something that, that someone originally drew, created, and you're now twisting it to your own hands. You know, it's like, originally you can't fight it. She's white, you know, a white man, or I don't know who created her, but they created her white with red hair. Et cetera, et cetera. Now, another word he keeps fighting about is Chicano. That he's Chicano, that everybody's Chicano. And, and they keep going back and forth, you know. This is just my opinion. Look it up in the dictionary. Look it up in the dictionary. It says of Mexican descent. And, and, and if you go deep into studying history, it's going to take you back to the Aztecs. The, the, the word Chicano will find its way to the native people of Mexico, the Native Americans of Mexico, and maybe even the Native Americans here in the U.S. Now, the reason the Mexicans call themselves... Chicano, the, the Mexican-Americans here, is because you got to go deep in history. Deep in history. It goes back to the Aztecs. Um, but it has to do with the, with the people of the U.S., the people born here, you know. The Mexicans born here. And this goes back to, to like I said, Aztec times. Because the Mexicans have had their say or their, they've walked the actual American lands. For thousands of years, the Mexicans have walked these Americans' land. The, the Mexican indigenous have walked these native lands, you know, these American lands, prior to probably any other Latin group. So, so that's why, you know, you got to go deep into it, man. The Chicano word comes... It, it, I, I have friends that are Guatemaltecos, you know, I have friends that are... Um, well, not not really too many other friends, but I have a couple of friends that are Guatemaltecos, and they say they're Chicano. Yeah, that's cool. You 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 adopt, you associate, you hang out with raza, Mexican people around here, you know, all good, all power, but you can't change and say Guatemaltecos are Chicanos or Salvadoreños are Chicanos. No man, read up the history. You know, you can adopt. Yeah, you can adopt into society, just like you could become a citizen here when either even though you're Mexican or you're European. You could adopt and become, you know, but it doesn't change. This nation doesn't become Europe, you know, it's still its own country. Um, but I see them arguing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And and, 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 and you know what? It's good that we bring up that topic, but but at the end, it's like those platforms are meant to to, to help. So so I'm just saying, like, una recomendación, like don't be going back and forth online, you know. Do your podcast and 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 face to face. You know, I see a lot of people because I'm into. I follow that community. I follow the 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 Raza community. 
the raza culture because at the end of the day whatever you see face tats um that 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 that, that culture low riding gang banging um, um the way they dress with cortezes beach cruisers lokes all that stuff is chicano or mexican culture here in the u.s by mexicans and and everybody else adopted adopted you know like which is cool use it but at the end of the day it's all mexican culture that started that chicano culture so that's that's how i see it you know chicano is a mexican plain and simple you can uh i don't know they're i guess they're fighting about his mom is half white, but his dad's Mexican or his Mexican's mom. Is, so that doesn't make him Chicano. I, you're going too deep into it. I, like I said at the end, if you're if you're uh if you have Mexican blood, yeah, go ahead. Say you're Chicano. You know what I mean. Even if you have Mexican blood, it, it's also a lifestyle. Yes, but 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 people assume that Chicano means gangbangers. Chicano means cholos. Chicano means people with tats. Chicano is a, a a way of thinking it's not it's it's not a but from from it's a it's from mexi a mexican like costumbres you know chicano um, it's a way of thinking but at the same time it's not it, it means you have pride for your for your for your for your skin for where your family comes from mexico you know that's what it means that's what it is because there's lawyers that have Chicano pride. There's lawyers l lawyers that identify. Like the Brown Barrettes, they're Chicanos. They're not gangbangers. They don't probably drive low riders, the majority of them. They're, 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 polit they're, they're activists. You know, they're not about killing people in the streets. That's not what Chicano means. Chicano is, is, is beyond that. Like I said, my, my, my uncles don't even... I have cousins that don't gangbang. But they're Chicanos. Why? Because they're born here. And their family comes from Mexico and they recognize they're Mexican. You know, they recognize that. And they don't gangbang. They never they never probably even smoke weed, you know. That, that, none of that, that image means Chicano. Chicano is Mexican. That's it. So, so I just been wanting to touch up on this for a little while. Seems like a good good topic to talk about. But it, like I said, I, I follow I follow American Cholo. My props to him for what you're doing. Like I said, I don't hate on you. Keep doing what you're doing. If you want to stop or not stop, that's, you know, more power to you. Just don't let the people, I, I see you don't let the people break you down. And that's good, man. Uh, uh, you're doing good. I respect you. You know, I'm just a small time YouTuber, but I respect you, what you're doing, man. Keep pushing it. But at the same time, facts are facts. You know, you are, you are what the uh, Hondureño. You are Latino. You grew up with, with raza, with Mexicanos, with Mexican culture, and, and you identify as that, cool, bro, whatever. So if you don't, you don't. You know, um, keep pushing your Calimax thing, but trying to change everything, you, you're, you're kind of a, in a tight situation, man, honestly speaking. Because at the end, just keep pushing your narrative, Say you're Chicano, say you're Hondureño, but don't be fighting with people over it and just keep pushing your Cali Macking, man, and do what you have to do. I support you. You're doing right, you know? You're doing right at the end of the day, but, but you pushing the pushing the too much is, is also, you know, going to get a... going to make you bump heads and start finding out about people's moms, and that ain't cool, bro. The mom, you know, don't bring the mom in. Hopefully, you know, I know you're not doing it to disrespect, I, I follow you more than I do Marvelous, so I can't really, like I say, um, do what I got to talk too much about him, but but I follow him, and, 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 and hey, at the end of the day, we're all raza, right? That's all I got to say about that, but it's been a good topic. You know, we got to, we got to, we got to study, study. At the end of the day, it's not Mexican supremacy it's just reality and it's the truth, you know. At the end of the day, we walk these lands for thousands of years. Read a book, read read ancient 
history uh, about the Aztecs. You know, there's many books on that that talk about. Uh, I'll be honest. I went to a when I was going to college, I took a, a Mexican history class, and the lady was from Peru, but she fell in love with the Mexican culture. She bought a she lived had a house here somewhere in you in, in Orange County, but she said every weekend she went to her house in TJ because she had to buy a house in TJ because she loved the Mexican culture so much. And coming out from her, a, a Peru lady, it opened my eyes. I was probably like 18 years old. She said, the word Chicano is what the Aztecs used to call the people on the, in Aslan, on this side of the U.S. You know, so it's always been a Mexican thing, pretty much. You know, I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes and say Latinos or... You know, I, I, I identify as three things when it comes to, to race. Depends who I'm talking to, but it all sums up to the same thing. I'm Mexicano. Why? Because both my parents were born in Mexico. And if they never came here, I would have been born in Mexico. So no matter what, I'm Mexicano. That's a big argument, too. People say that the Mexicanos say that the, the people born here are Mexican. We're Mexican by blood. You know what I mean? No matter what, by corazón and by blood. Like I said, I, I have my. I'm not mixed. My both my parents are Mexican. So if I were born here, if I were born over there, I'd be the same person. Third, I identify as Chicano because they tell me, you know, I'm I'm born here. I'm born in the U.S., so I'm Chicano. I'm of Mexican descent. And third, I identify depends who I'm talking to. Uh, like I said, uh, Mexican American, which is all the same thing, bro. You're a Mexican born in America. Mexican American, which is a Chicano. So, but but I always start with Mexicano. You're Mexican, yeah, I'm Mexican. You know, because I am. By blood. Not by nationality, but by blood. Or, 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 or if I want to go deeper into that, my, both my parents were born in Michoacán. And Michoacán is, I think you pronounce it, I, I it's hard to, I always forget, it's Purepecha or Purepecha. But those are the indigenous people of Michoacán. And those guys never got taken over by the Aztecs. So, so there you go. But the Aztecs, like I said, were the dominant dominant uh, authority, the last dominant authority of Mexico in regards to indigenous people, original Americans. So, and like I said, yes, we're all connected. It's like saying the Asians, Latinos, we're all more power to all the Salvadoreños, Hondureños, Guatemaltecos, gente de Peru, de, de Brasil, de, 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 de Colombia, de todo Suramérica y cent, cent, Centroamérica. Pero, 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 ustedes vienen ya, ¿cómo se dice? A este país, con este país siempre ha sido México. You know what I mean? We, we, we can't change that. We can't change what we've, the thousands of years that, or hundreds, hundreds or thousands, whatever you want to say, the years that we have been already stepping on these rocks, you know, stepping on this dirt, moving this dirt around. So, so, you know, like, like, I don't identify, it, you know what, depends who I'm talking to, too, but to myself, I don't really say I'm Latino, I always say I'm Mexicano. I was just taught like that. I would, by, 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 by my own seeking. You know, that's what you got to do, seek, because at the end, you're not going to learn. I don't call myself Hispanic, but I don't say I'm not. It depends who I'm talking to, because some people don't get it, and you just have to say, yeah, I'm Hispanic. What about it? You know? Or, yeah, I'm Latino. What about it? Because, like I said, at the end, they're just probably trying to offend or disturb that mentality. But at the end, yeah, we're all brothers and sisters in this world, creators of one. You know, creators of, of God, creation of God, you know. Created the earth and everything in seven days. And we're all brothers and sisters at the end. Even the blacks, even the Asians. You know, we're, we're all in this together. We're all in this country. So why even fight about it? It's your boy Dwell, a.k.a. Mr. J, coming at you sideways. Have a good one.